In the quaint hamlet of Wistwood, where the trees whispered secrets and the wind sang old melodies, there lived a woman named Eleanor. Her days were spent in the company of books and dreams, in a cottage fringed by the ancient woods that many in Wistwood only dared to explore in daylight. One dusky evening, as the sun painted the sky in shades of amber and purple, Eleanor heard a sound, a soft, plaintive whimper, barely more than a breath, coming from the depths of the forest. Curiosity, that old friend of hers, nudged her towards the source. With a lantern in hand, Eleanor followed the sound, her heart thrumming in rhythm with her footsteps. In a small clearing she found it, a young wolf pup, his fur matted with mud and leaves, a whimper escaping his quivering lips. Eleanor, whose heart was as wide as the ocean, couldn't leave the creature to fend for itself. She scooped the pup into her arms, marveling at the strange markings on his fur that shimmered like the night sky and brought him back to her cottage. The wolf pup, whom she named Orion, was no ordinary creature. Each day he grew exponentially, his size soon surpassing that of a regular wolf. His eyes glinted with a knowing intelligence and his fur continued to shimmer with a cosmic luster. Despite his size, Orion was gentle, a guardian cloaked in mystery. Eleanor's days were filled with joy and wonder as she and Orion continued to bond. He was a majestic presence, his sheer size and unique coat a constant source of amazement and affection. Eleanor realized that Orion was not just an ordinary wolf, and she returned to the forest to seek answers. The woods welcomed her like an old friend, leading her deeper into its heart where the air thrummed with ancient magic. In a clearing lit by the glow of fireflies, a mysterious man awaited her. His eyes held the depth of the night sky, and an air of otherworldliness clung to him. He inquired about a small wolf, his voice like a melody from another world. Eleanor, with a mix of reluctance and relief, told him about Orion. The man listened, a gentle smile playing on his lips, as if he had found a lost treasure. The wolf is not of this realm, he explained. He belongs to a world beyond, where creatures like him roam the stars. He promised to care for Orion and return him to his rightful home. In our world, he will resume his vital role, continuing the legacy of his kind, the man said. Eleanor felt a profound sense of responsibility wash over her. With a heavy yet hopeful heart, she returned for Orion, who had been waiting for her by the door, his eyes reflecting an understanding far beyond the ordinary. It's time for you to go home, Orion, she whispered, her voice laced with a mix of sadness and pride. Orion nudged Eleanor gently, as if to acknowledge her feelings and express his gratitude. Together, they walked towards the man, each step a testament to the bond they had formed and the extraordinary journey they had shared. Eleanor could feel the mystical energy emanating from the man, a palpable force of nature that seemed to envelop Orion in a protective embrace. It was a poignant moment, marking the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. The man's eyes shimmered with a light that spoke of distant worlds and timeless tales. Orion is revered among us. His kind watches over the balance of nature. They are the bridge between the tangible and the mystical, the seen and the unseen. He looked towards the darkening sky, his gaze distant yet full of warmth. In our world, Orion is not just a wolf. He is a symbol of hope, a beacon of strength and wisdom. His presence maintains the equilibrium of forces both celestial and terrestrial. With a final, lingering look at Eleanor, Orion, who had become almost a best friend to her, disappeared into the forest, leaving behind a trail of stardust. That night, as Eleanor lay in bed, her mind wandered to the forest, to Orion and the mysterious man from another realm. She smiled, knowing that somewhere, in a world beyond her reach, Orion was running under starlit skies, wild and free. 
Even though she missed Orion terribly, she knew he was not destined for this world. The forest whispered outside her window, a lullaby of secrets and magic as Eleanor drifted into dreams where worlds collided and anything was possible. 